2017 Villanova team, you're going to love the 2025 Knicks. New York added Mikhail Bridges to the roster, sending a Rudy Gobert-esque haul of picks to Brooklyn and the ever-rebuilding Nets. You'll get them this time, Sean Marks. Here's what it looked like. Uh, Knicks are getting Mikhail oh, Bridges. Yeah. Uh, the Nets are getting five first-round picks, Ooh, a 2028 first-round swap, and a 2025 second. Did New York give up too much? No. Uh, and gosh darn it. I we you should have put Sean Marks on the bud list. Oh. That was a missed opportunity for us for you to run back rebuild. that old they classic. Were, they went from three superstars <laughs> to a full on rebuild. <laughs> multiple he didn't times. Even get the yeah, I mean, no, right. multiple, multiple times. Uh, so here's the deal. He's a charmed lad. The, the the Knicks are not getting Giannis. And holding on to the picks for the hopes of maybe in two years we could – you're not getting Giannis. It, you hold on to the picks in a year if Embiid's, you know, unhappy, I suppose. But then Embiid's a year older. The injury – you know, he's – it <laughs> It's a real concern. This fits. It's not too much because the Knicks still have – Picks from other teams. They still have a first right. from Detroit. Of, well, that's which protected. Is valuable. Well, it's valuable, but it's protected one yeah. through nine for three years. But if you're assuming Detroit ever gets it together, they also <laughs> have a pick from Washington. Assuming they ever get it together, that one's also protected, I think, just lottery protector, one through nine protected. And they can, if they want to, move Julius Randle at some point for some stuff. Mm -hmm. So the cupboard is not totally bare. The team is very young, as in no, it, you're not trading for a 35-year-old Kevin Durant or 34-year-old Kevin Durant. You're not trading for an aging player. Mikhail Bridges makes $48 million total over the next two yeah. years, yeah. Wow. and we know it works. Yeah. And so I, it doesn't have, like, the wow factor of getting an MVP candidate. But as far as building out a roster, it makes a ton of sense, Bruce. So I like it. Look, I like the move, and we'll talk more Knicks. But they gave up more draft picks, more first-round picks than the uh, Minnesota gave up for Rudy Gobert, who's made three all-star teams, more than Cleveland gave up for uh, Donovan. Donovan Mitchell, who's made five all-star teams, and more than Phoenix gave up or the Brooklyn gave up or Phoenix gave yep. up, I'm sorry, for Kevin Durant. Yeah. And obviously he's made 14 all-star teams. And Mikael Bridges has made zero. So my, I like the trade, but here's what I'm saying. They gave up too much unless they win a championship. They are absolutely s bob wow. And I say that with hope for Knicks fans because they haven't been s bob championship or bust for a long time. So this has, they have to win the championship. I mean, they because the hope, Nick, and you know this, was in those picks. It was like, man, we're good. We're second round. We maybe mm -hmm. get to the conference finals. And we got all these picks to improve, to get this star or that star. That's over now. I mean, they still could make some moves. Yes. But that pretty much is gone. So this is it. This is your squad. It is a good roster. It's a very good roster. Yeah. And they got to win the championship. Okay. Well, now we'll figure out if they can. So New York wasn't done with just the Bridges trade. OG re-signed with the Knicks on a five-year, $212 million deal. Here's the uh, championship odds. It's Celtics, one. Denver, two. New York, all of a sudden, at three. That is wild to see. Then OKC. Then the Wolves. Oddly, Mavs not on there. Giannis not on there. Yeah, Mavs is interesting. Um, I know you're thinking, well, that seems high, but look at the record with Jalen and OG together. Uh, includes the playoffs 25 and 5 offensive rating great defensive rating even better and they were below 500 in all the other games so does new york really have a championship roster here i believe absolutely because i believe they have excellent role players a great defensive team mm -hmm. and a legitimate superstar so i assume brew do you really <laughs> Is it, I don't. I mean, I don't know if we have club superstar on the ready, but if we did, you'd see Jalen Brunson firmly in there. Mm. I am very interested in how Brew feels about this because Brew is a very well-known, on-the-record Jalen Brunson skeptic. <laughs> he's the, I he's, just don't think he's every, yet proven every he's time, a superstar. How every many time I he do made? King of the Hill, the, his critique is Jalen Brunson's too high. We do club superstar, and Brew is like, Rick wasn't a superstar. Jalen no, isn't either. No, I wasn't. Summer, no, no. Rick, uh, Rick was and, a superstar so, in Summer League. In, in Summer League, that is true. Um, so, I listen, I think that this Knicks team 
has the best chance to win a championship of any Knicks team since 1995, the season after they had gone to the NBA Finals. I know people were like, but in 99 they made the Finals. That team had no chance of winning the title, even when they were in the Finals. They had no chance of winning mm. the title. Uh, and I loved that I team. That. I loved Spree. But the, so and they I, were an eighth seed. They too. were an eighth seed, right. So I really Magic believe Carver, this right. team – is as well better equipped than any Knicks team in 30 years wow. to win a championship since that the Starks, you know, a keen block Stark shot. So I that's how I feel. I don't hate that take. I mean, some Thank people you. might say in 2013 when they got to the second round, they yeah, won 54 games. Melo got an MVP. But that team was going to have to go through the heat, and club. they were never going to beat that <laughs> hit heat team. No, look, I like the team. They are legitimate championship contenders all right and they have clearly said we are going the Celtics route of 2024 we're going the Detroit route of 04 I still don't think Brunson's a superstar I think he's a star and what they're going to have to do I don't think they have two players as good as Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and that is they're trying to build after the Boston model but I don't think they have guys that are that good but Bridges and OG Ananobi can match up with Tatum and Brown and defend them and make it tough. And then Randall, everybody's like, we will Randall fit now with Brunson and all that. When when they first traded for Ananobi, they went 12 and 2. They had their full roster. Yeah. They beat Denver. They beat Minnesota. They beat Philadelphia. And then Randall got hurt. So it looks like it can work. But Nick, here's the thing. They've got to figure out, okay, what's the way for us to play? It's not going to be like they played in the playoffs when it was all Brunson all the time and he's dominating the ball and mm-hmm. taking a ton of shots, and he played great. But now Randall's going to have to get some of that. Bridges and OG are going to have to get some of that. Don't think Ananobi's contract's not going to make him – I need to get about close to 20 a game. They got like four everyone guys. getting like 17. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to just figure out the team way to play, and I think they will. Tibbs is a great coach. And I think they've got unselfish players who will play their roles, but it's not that's what they that's the challenge, because it's not just gonna be it's not gonna be like Derrick Rose and the Bulls with Tibbs. No. no where it's no. the Derrick Rose show or the Jalen Brunson show, it's gonna be a team. But I, I do like them a lot. Do you think this is the in I'll go through basketball history, the biggest bet on chemistry and friendship? In the, N- in the NBA where it's like, you know what? These guys are more than the sum of their parts because they really like each other and we're all teammates in college and I think we can get more than Yeah, I mean, I, the, I, you throw all of basketball history yeah, probably, at me. Yeah, I don't, it's I don't a tough to, one. But I, it, it is it'd certainly – It would be hard to imagine it, a team like right, four and it, college Right, and it makes teammates. me wonder what would – Horford, Noah, Corey Brewer have <laughs> yeah. done. You know, the, t- the, the Florida team that well, won back to back. Drexler and Elijah Drex- played it. You sure. And, and, and so, but I, the teams that win a, you know, win a championship or multiple championships together, re- recreating it is special. I, and I also, the thing that I think Brew that can't be discounted is not only the point Wilds is making about chemistry and unity. Mm-hmm. But also, man, this team defensively, Mikael Bridges in Phoenix, when he was not asked to be the leading scorer, was a terror defensively. In Brooklyn, he was good, but as as happens to everyone, when you're asked to be the team's leading scorer, you're going to trail a bit defensively. Well, now he can focus on that uh, more Because he's the third or fourth scorer now. Correct. So you have Bridges and OG on the wing defensively. That's as good as... What Boston has on the wing defensively, not on the wing as two-way players, but defensively. And my real question is, how does Randall fit in this? And if he doesn't, he is a 20 and 10 guy that has real value, you know what I mean, across the league. And so that's the other reason I like the trade is because you can go see how this looks. And if you don't love the fit or if something it isn't quite there, mm. you can move Randall for pieces. Uh, according to NBA.com, Mikel Bridges, eighth best ISO defender among 109 players who defended. Oh, you loved those, you hated those stats when it was no, about you, Luke no, in the said, finals. Uh, 